Yo, I just painted over this with TNT. Oh, my world is gonna- Ah! Hello guys, this is Spider Rack and welcome back to another add-on showcase video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the World Edit Paintbrush Anon. So this will add in a paintbrush from the commonly used World Edit plugin on Java Edition uh, on a lot of servers. Um, and it will allow you to basically paint your world with blocks wherever you're looking. And it's really cool. Um, now I'd like to point out that this is sort of an add-on but also uses scripts and scripting and that means that it won't run on some devices i'm pretty sure the mobile uh, pocket edition mobile devices it can run on is kind of limited and i know it does run on windows 10 edition because that's what i'm playing on right now but i do not think that it will run on xbox one edition either um uh, at least as of when i'm uploading this as of the beginning of 2020 or towards the middle of 2020 but it, it might come that's uh, scripting support may come to other platforms in the future i'm not entirely sure anyway we should probably hop right into this so this is made by machine builder he's made some of the coolest uh add-ons and scripts and add-on maker tools um and whatnot so i will leave a link to where you can download this in the description but if you want to get this you just want to use this command right here give it p world edit uh, world edit mcp colon paint underscore brush um, you can copy that if you're, I don't know how you copy that. Anyway, just put in like, give it P and then put in world and then it should pop up. Uh, so just hit enter on that or whatever the enter button is on mobile. Um, and you will get this world edit brush. Now this is really cool. I don't know if it does. Yeah. By default, it will remove blocks. So you can see I'm holding right click and it's just removing every block in my path. Everything I'm looking at is just getting destroyed. This is actually... Really cool. So if you want to, you could make your own ravine. Like, oh, I just want there to be like a ravine right here. Then boom. Uh, well, it does break bedrock too, so watch out for that. Um, so this is not exactly going to be useful for our survival players, but it is cool to be able to make my own caves. Oh, did I just kill a creeper? All right then. Um, but you can just go straight up, just make your own caves. Like this was not here before and I'm just, you know, doing all this cool stuff and then boom, now there's a cave here. Um, so, I don't know. It, Doing this myself is like really fun. I don't know. It's just incredibly satisfying. But this doesn't only remove blocks because if we head back onto land, these last three slots of your hotbar are going to be very important. So if you want to draw, you're going to want to put it something in right there. So if let's say I want to draw in planks, I right click now. Or I don't know if there's a pocket edition button for any pocket edition platforms that this works with, but now I can paint with wood since I have the wood there. Or uh, I think this would be really cool using concrete. So let's see, if I grab some red concrete, I can make like a little circle up. Oh. Okay, so that's the other thing that it just uses like general concrete. It will use white concrete. Um, I wanted to point that out. And I think it does the same thing with wool. Oh. So yeah, it, it only does it if it's over here. I, I keep forgetting that, but let's see. Yeah, it will stay white wool. So just watch out for that. Um, I don't know if slabs work, so I'm just going to mess around with this and try it out. Does this actually work? Um, oh, is this like in stone brick slab? Okay, so slabs will end up being in stone brick slabs. Good to know. I just want to try out all the blocks, see if any of these... Oh, yo, that is weird. You can build ladders. You can world edit in some ladders. What in the world? All right, well, that's kind of cool. I could just make like a, you know, just make a little patch of ladders oh that is strange but i like it it's cool that you can actually like oh that is uh, okay well that's interesting i'm gonna try out all these things can i use doors will doors work oh oh that is laggy okay well lots of lag but yes doors do in fact work even though i have like four stacks of doors now um so for a lot of things you're going to end up I don't know if it'll entirely work everything, but pretty much anything that's a block, as long as it doesn't fall under a data value of another block, so like fences and stuff, um, you should be fine. So like if I want to make, you know, a diamond square, I'm gonna try to make a diamond square. It also, uh, from what I've tried out, works a little bit better if you fly high, higher up, because you can just do that kind of thing. And you can just, boom. I'm just painting the ground with diamonds right now. Let's see. I'm gonna try to finish this off and boom. I can just fill this all in with my uh, paintbrush. It's pretty cool. So that's actually kind of cool, but this isn't exactly what people are probably going to be using this for, for the most part. 
I think most people are going to be using this for making custom mountains, custom terrains, and caves, and things like that. Um, so you'd probably want to be using something like cobblestone. Um, but here's the cool thing. If you take multiple blocks and you just throw them in here together, um, then now I can paint with both cobblestone and mossy cobble, and I can make like a cool mountain here. So, I mean, it's just like painting. If you just start squiggling, squiggling? scribbling paint around with a paintbrush like you're not going to get a masterpiece of artwork i don't think but if you like know what you're doing you could probably make something pretty cool uh, that being said i did not know what i'm doing entirely i've never used world edit before on java edition um i've used similar things like mc edit but none of it has been <coughs> very much like this but this is still really cool um, being able to just make very strange and interesting structures like oh you imagine you come across this and I could build like a house inside of here and like you uh, you're just in the world and you do this so this is really cool if you want to make maps and stuff um, this is definitely one of the coolest like map utility tools that I've seen or just like making cool structures um, I don't I want to see oh yes this does go all the way over there and I can make that come all the way back here I mean, if you want to make like a really long worm, you know, you can make a really long worm. Okay, so I think that's the farthest that it can go from here because it's not letting me do it any further away, I don't think. All right, um, I'm gonna add a block to it. Let's see, can I add in like some bricks? How, how would this look? Oh, that looks cool. Like for like a path or something, I could imagine that would be really cool. Like, you know, I'm just gonna make a path from like this hill. Oh, well, I already messed up make a path from this hill come on it's it's good if you just like tap click every now and then i think that that's a good way to do it or at least to get started with it but like imagine the cool builds that you could make with this just being able to you know build a mound around you or whatever like i don't know it's just very neat or like oh i want to make a tower well i'm just gonna do that and then boom you instantly have a cool looking tower and then if you wanted to do some detail to it yourself like I could grab some fences and throw them around the top or something and then like uh, I want to make a flag how would I make a flag not concrete stop 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 no okay I want to make a flag I grab maybe I'll make a, a red and blue flag and then some iron bars here so uh just using this add-on and then of course you know my materials to make my flag up here and stuff i instantly well not instantly but pretty easily was able to make this cool little tower um if i actually had more time to put into this i'd be making some really cool stuff i think but this is still really really neat um, i also think it's cool to mix some stuff so if i get wool concrete and i don't know what else to use but you can make some cool tech oh i didn't mean to do that you can make some cool looking textured stuff so if i want to make like some interesting looking like bone structures or maybe like a, that reminds me of like a cat's paw or something so you can make like you know some cat feet i don't know this just makes with the texturing that you can do with this it just makes anybody who's building anything look like they really know what they're doing here can i make a cat i'm gonna try to oh no i didn't mean to do that oh, okay well yeah i am not very good at this um but guess I'm gonna have to build a kind of wonky cat then okay well kind of tricky but you know this is still really neat to see in bedrock edition um I want to try contrasting some stuff though seeing what some different looking ooh ooh this is a not uh, probably not a good idea but if you need some instant riches in minecraft you can just you know I've got my gold diamond and emeralds and I can just go ahead and paint all over the world it's pretty neat um i don't know why it's so satisfying to just go you know in a circle but it it's it's very satisfying very fun to play with and just i must say it does make it a little bit laggy uh when you're using it because i have a pretty high-end computer and well not high-end but not a low-end computer and it does get a little laggy sometimes still very cool though um i want to try out some other stuff though like maybe slime blocks honey blocks um, just some very different things and maybe I'll throw in some iron bars, you know? Oh, geez. See, on their own, these combinations would not look good, but then you throw them together in such like a neat fashion like this, where it's so random and stuff. And it looks, this looks like some kind of slug monster with its bones 
peeking out and then you can like i don't know you could do so much cool stuff with this grab some of that and some of that and i could just nope and i could just go like that and then maybe like that okay i think this is the coolest thing i built because like look at that here i want to give it a tongue let's see i'm gonna give it a nice little like uh how does this look this is not what i was trying to make it look like there we go my little snaky guy and then uh maybe i'll make that i'll make these two teeth this is already looking scuffed i don't know what i was doing anyway there's there's my little snaky guy so i don't know that just looks really cool like with the I don't know, just, just, I like messing around with this, making random combinations of stuff. Maybe I'll try just making something with these. See how this looks. Uh, see, even that looks cool. Like, I don't know why it's not, like, the best combination of stuff, but it just looks cool. It looks, like, static and whatever. I don't know. I can make, like, a mound of red and black and white blocks. Still looks really cool, though. Um, let's see, what else is there? I want to try out scaffolding. How would this look with scaffolding? Does this work with- Oh, yep, that works with scaffolding, alright. That is very interesting. Alright, that's kind of cool to look at, though. Uh, everything here. Um, let's see, what- What would be interesting to try out? Uh, could I use- I bet shulker boxes would be interesting. Um, maybe a grindstone? And TNT, let's see how this looks, you know? Like, what is that that I just made? I don't know why it looks cool, but it that looks cool. It just always looks cool, you know? I could just right-click once and place a little ball of TNT. Here, if I just stick with TNT out, let's see, does it work? Yeah, that does work. Um, oh, it's going to be air and TNT if you have air and then TNT. So I think it's going to be more air, I would guess, if I did... Yeah, and then it's going to be mostly air, because two parts air, one part TNT. That is cool. I like that feature. Nice job, machine builder. That's really cool. Um, let's see. I know a lot of these blocks are very interesting to see. Just how they end up actually turning out. Um, ooh. Ooh, that... I have an idea. Okay, a way to make sort of four blocks. If we get those two, and then we get... Or maybe we could try to get five. Well, I have an idea with this TNT for later, but see, is there another block? Okay, I'm gonna try a couple of things with redstone just to see how this goes. So that means some of them are gonna be lit up and some of them aren't. Oh, that's cool, I like that. All right, uh, trying things with redstone. Let's see, let's try pistons. Oh, this is gonna be so scuffed. Oh no, okay, well, that's interesting. So if I grab that, and then I grab a redstone lamp. Can you data redstone? No, you can't, okay. Um, and I do this, we're gonna get, okay, can I go up? Yeah. We're gonna get basically four different blocks. We're gonna get not extended pistons, extended pistons, or five actually. Redstone blocks, lit lanterns, and not lit lanterns. That's kind of neat, I like that. Um, and then I think the thing that you've all been dying to see, uh, TNT. You can just draw draw where you want to blow things up. Oh no. Okay. So in theory, I could just Oh, well there's a lot of stuff over here already. In theory, I could just paint over this world with TNT. Let's see how this goes. Oh, this is going to be so laggy. Yo, I just painted over this with TNT. Oh, my world is going to Ah. Okay, well Now I just want to- oh, there's so much TNT. Oh, because I had the whole thing of TNT over there. Ah. Uh, well, there goes my world, but that was still really cool. Um, definitely laggy now, though. So I'm just going to fly straight up and uh, say goodbye. So if you made it to here, thanks for watching. Link in the description of this add-on as well as to my Discord, like always. Um... Thanks for watching, subscribe and whatever. We're getting closer to a thousand as we speak, so that would be awesome. Thanks for watching, see you guys later, and bye.